we got going on today. So, hopefully, a lot of the folks will join me soon. Uh, I guess we're going to start out with uh, this pen right here. Uh, this pen, if you look for it on eBay, it's called the Fountain Pen Stationery. And this has a extra fine nib. And it real it looks like the Lamy Safari. Exactly. It doesn't have any logos or name on it, but it writes extremely well. And I'm not an extra fine person, but uh, this nib has got my attention. It really writes that well. Uh, it comes with a converter. And on the, this pen, Thank you to uh, Nomad the Wanderer that sent me the uh, L. Lawrence uh, ink. Here it is. And it, great ink. I love this Noodler's ink, L. Lawrence. Really is a nice, nice ink. Hello to Max. Hey, Max. And uh, I just enjoy the heck out of that ink. It's just some great ink. So, if you're interested, that's where you get it on eBay. Again, the name of the pen is just called Fountain Pen Stationery. It's one piece. Another interesting pen that I picked up on eBay is called the Transparent Piston and this is a fine nib. It's a screw-on cap, really a sweet piston filler. No problems with the pen whatsoever and it's got a real nice fine nib on it and it's wet Nice juicy nib. Uh, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. And uh, here are some a few other colors that I've gotten in. Uh, let's see. Okay, this would be. Uh, these are also called uh, one piece stationary pens. A lot of the Chinese pens that I found are called uh, the same thing, but like this one here, uh, piston filler, but it has a different clip on it. But it's same as that, you know, uh, a little bit different in design, but not much. And back to this one, this is a 008 on that one. And this one, screw off cap, as you can see, here we go. And that's all it is to it. Interesting pins though. So I thought I'd mention those right quick. All right. And some other interesting pins I picked up are the Jin Hao 990s. The only thing on are different that the, the ends of the barrel, one's got a blue and one's got a red. Then I got one with a black. And could these made it, be made into uh, eyedroppers? I don't know yet. I've got to check out the, uh, the barrel thoroughly to make sure there's no little cracks in the barrel. Because you never know. You have to be careful before you do an eyedropper. You never know what to expect. So, I thought I'd bring those to your attention. And Max says he loves the wing songs. And uh, hello to Greasy Pete. Hey, Greasy Pete. Now, last but not least, and uh, thank you to Larry... Thibodeau. For loaning me this really nice music nib. It's a Sailor 1911 large music nib. And uh, my reviews have already been done. You can watch it on the video. When this pen, after I did the review on this pen, it just hit me that my Starbucks tumbler right here matches the the pen. See, ta da! Isn't that something? It just dawned on me. So, well, look at that. Perfect tangerine color. So, really wrote nice. And there is Larry. Hello. Hey, Larry. We're talking about you right now, Larry. Ta -da! And I'll get that back out to you tomorrow. I'll ship them out. And this is on loan from Heinz Pens, and it's called uh, the Imperium. 
which stands for heavenly. Heavenly. And this is really a cool pen. It's a twist off cap with a beautiful 1.1 blue nib on it with the Heinz logo on it. So this one was going back and it I've already done a video on this one, so you can watch that as well. So let me set these aside. Larry likes the color on that one. On that blue one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. Amazing pen. Uh, the only thing I found on the pen that, for me, you know, which isn't a deal breaker, like I said on the video, was on the turns for the barrel, like uh, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen and a half turns. So, you know, if it could be at least four or five, that would save a lot of unscrewing. But other than that, that's all I could find for me. But I would still buy the pen, no question about it. Really a really nice pen. It's beautiful. It it fits well in the hand. It it writes extremely well. Nice wet nib. Uh, I've wrote with it for long sessions. I didn't get tired. And you know you can get them extra fine, fine, medium, broad, different nibs. Just check out uh, what's his website? Heinzpens.com. Okay. Hello to David C., David L., and George. Hello, David C., David L., and George. I uh, want to talk a little bit about the Fort Worth Pen Club. Uh, David C., and I believe it's J James, Doc, Jim, McCarty, or is it James McCarty? I think so, yes. One of the two. Well, Dave C., if, if you know the name, you can let us know. Uh, these two gentlemen uh, have some really nice mountain pens. And uh, I think James McCarty, if I'm saying the uh, name correctly, one of our other club members, really has some awesome fountain pens. I mean, a collection to die for. Hello, hello to Frank and Kara. And it is James. Okay, James. So it is James. Okay, we'll go with James. Okay, but we'll go with James. So, he has some really nice collection of vintage pens. I mean, there was one, and David, see, if you remember the one I really liked with that long, red, beautiful, good-looking pen I just fell in love with. I don't remember the name of it, but it was a dynamite pen. So, uh, and David has a really nice collection himself. Hello to Brian. So, uh, David, what, uh, David has a nice set of uh, uh, Omos collection. I like, is it the Paragon, I believe? I'm really looking at those. Uh, I'm looking at a music nib. And uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the Platinum music nib. I have the Platinum 37... Seven six, uh, and it's a medium nib, and I love it. I adore the pen. It's just a great pen. So now I'm thinking, okay, is that platinum going to be as good or better than the Sailor Music nib? I don't know yet. Okay, he doesn't remember. Yeah. Uh, hello to Catchper, and he's asking, do you like the Mont Blanc pin case? Yeah, I do like the Mont Blanc pin case. Yeah, I've, I've got a couple of different style of pin cases. So, um, so I, I'm torn right now. Uh, I have the uh, Noodler's Nimbusant music nib. And, you know, for me personally, I like it. Uh it's a nice, wet, juicy nib. Uh, it, it lays down the ink, and it does everything I need it to do. Uh, some people don't really care for it, and that's cool. But I enjoy it. Remember, it's what you enjoy. 
not what anybody else enjoys, because you're the one that has to live with that pen, correct? Correct. Uh, so I've yet to test uh, a platinum music nib. So anybody has a platinum music nib, hey, fill me in, give me your uh, input on it. I checked on the uh, Sailor music nibs, and uh, you can get them at a pretty good price right now. Not that tangerine color. I can't find that anymore because that was only for the North American uh, at the time that came out for that color. And I can't find it. Well, I've been looking on eBay for it, and I've yet to find it on eBay. Maybe uh, some of the pen dealers may have it here, but... Uh, that's a, that is a nice looking color, that tangerine color. I really like it a lot. Another pen that I picked up on eBay, just because it's different, uh, was the the Hero. It's a flagship pen, and uh, it's right here. And it's got the South Korea flag on it, which I thought is pretty cool. And uh, somebody asked me about this pen. Do they make... Uh, different flags for other countries. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, and this pen has a extra fine nib on it. It's a hooded nib, and it really writes really darn good uh, for the price. Uh, what did I write down for the price? It's like $2.35. Nice little pen. But like I said, I got it mainly for the flag. I thought it was kind of interesting pen, the picture on it like that. All right, as we move along, I finally got my shirts out. And here it is, if you can see it well enough. Uh, you might want to put this down or up, Mr. Announcer. Let's see if we can see all of it. Here we go. There it is. Yeah, I think you can see it. And uh, you can get these on the Zazzle mm -hmm. website. Uh and they come in abundance of colors. You can choose out whatever color you want. I, I know I need to get me, I want to get me three or more other colors. Because like I said, I'm a t-shirt kind of guy. I like t-shirt and jeans a lot. I do wear dress shirts, but if I can, t-shirts a lot. So And I do love the logo. I think it's pretty slick. Hello to JJ. And I, I do have the trucker's hat cap that came out. It's on a white cap. Uh, and it looks good, but if you try to take a picture of it, it's kind of hard to uh, to see the logo because of all the white background. But if you're in person, you can see it. And uh, we're going to order a different cap from, what's that place called? Cafe Press. Cafe Press. And Mr. Announcer found that uh, he's working on. And they only have two colors. It's a brown and white, correct? Yes. Uh, so... Uh, we're going to get the brown and see how uh, the cap looks on that one. So we got that working. But back to this shirt. I've been working and planning for this shirt for the last couple of years. And it finally happened. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, and I hope it goes well. I'm not going to make any money off it. I, I don't have any plans to make any money off it. I just think, you know, for people who like T-shirts... T-shirt collectors, uh, well, here you go. This is a cool T-shirt, you know. Uh, it will do what it does. So uh, a lot of fun. And, of course, I'm going to wear this when I go to the Dallas Pin Show. That's who I am, and I'm proud of it. And uh, uh, we're thinking about making some different uh, designs for the T-shirt. Uh making some small, smaller ones right here uh, above the pocket. That's, we're thinking about that. Uh, also thinking about putting the logo in back because people like different options. So we're thinking about doing that. This is the first one that's come out. Prototype that's out. So, so far it's uh, got some good feedback on it. Uh, we also have the uh, Forward Pin Club that, of course, I forgot to bring. It's in the other room, and we're excited about that. Forward Pin Club has, uh, we got a T-shirt out, and that's exciting. I really like them. Uh, 
they're uh, ro are they raw blue or? Uh, well, there's a bunch of different choices. But they can we can we only use one blue though. No, I think they can choose their color when they order the shirt. Oh, they can. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, uh, Dave C. Is that correct? Can the Fort Worth Club members choose their own colors, or do they have to just one color? I forgot how they went, how that went. But anyway, ours is what color? Royal blue. Yeah, or? ours is a royal blue. Yeah, really nice. I really like the look. It did a good job at Zazzles. So, and they're reasonable. I think I think these shirts cost well, like twenty six bucks. Yeah, with, with shipping in there. Yeah, with shipping. Okay, JJ says he was able to choose his own color. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, and they do give, give a little discount. I think it's 15% or something. So, you know, that's better than nothing. Cara, what? Kara got pink and Frank got dark green. All right, can't wait to see those. I bet they're going to be awesome. Yep, yep. So, uh, what else has been going on? Ah, uh, I do like to mention a pen that I picked up that I really like. I already mentioned the Sentry, uh, but the uh, Pilot Justice 95 has a fine nib. I really do like this pen more than I could imagine now, and I don't like fine pens. But, you know, it's not for everybody, No, but it's it's for me. Uh, it really writes extremely well. Um, it's a fine soft, so I can adjust that nib. Uh, it's just a really neat pen. I like it, and I'm glad I bought it. Hello to Jerry, and uh, no, you don't have to. We just won't look in the parking lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever for that. Uh, he asked if he had to remove his Obama bumper sticker before he attends the pen club. Oh, okay. Anyway, so... Uh, another cool pen I do like is the uh, Diplomat Excellence. Really a nice pen. It's got the 14K medium nib on it. It really is a nice pen. I do like the Diplomat. What got me into this one was the, uh, the Diplomat Soft Touch. Uh, I got the broad and somebody sent me the one with the fine nib. So I said, you know what? Boom, I'm going to get it. And this is my pin carry for right now while I'm at it. And this one is the Nebula, isn't it? Yes. The Heinz Nebula. Really another nice pin. I love the colors of this pin. Look at it. It just screams beautiful. The orange and blue in it. Heinz did a heck of a job. And look at that beautiful green nib. It's got a 1.1 nib on it. And it really is sweet sweet on it i like it i enjoy it hello to troy as we move on and then the rest are mont blancs the mont blanc vintage 144 r i believe and then the mont blanc 149 the 18k medium nib love i love it Yes, I love Mont Blanc. I really do love it. And then my Mont Blanc Legrand. It's got a 18K oblique medium nib. And then my Mont Blanc Little Prince, or they call this the... Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. It's really, really an interesting fountain pen. And it's made after the plane when they made that first flight. Really nice one. This has an 18K broad nib on it. And last but not least, the Mont Blanc Sgt. Peppers with an oblique medium 14K gold nib. Beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. I just put up the Mont Blanc 149 Vintage 14K medium nib. That was another marvelous pen. So so that's that. That's my pen carry. But before I do anything else, let me see if I can find these little jewels real quick. Hello to Michelle. All right. Here 
Here's one. I'm looking for my sailor pins. And hello for rot. I'll show you one right now. Beautiful nib. Beautiful nib. A sailor. Beautiful nib on this pen. This is uh, the king of pens. And then uh, I have another one hiding around here somewhere. I also have the 1911 large as well. Uh, cigar shape. Beautiful pen. Really a, a nice pen. And I'm trying to locate where I put it. But anyway, y'all have seen them before, I'm sure. Um, as I look for it. JJ says he wants one of the Sailor Togi nibs. Yeah, okay. I have never used those at all, and uh, I was just wondering if anybody has, if anybody has any input on it, because I hate to, to buy a pen that I don't like. And have you used a Platinum 3776? How does it fit in your hand? For me, it fits perfect. Uh, in fact, I just showed it. I don't think I showed it yet, but if I didn't, here it is again. Or did I put it up? No, I already put it up. Yeah, I didn't show it. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, I already cleaned it out and pushed it, but it, uh, uh, I love it. Fabulous fountain pen. Uh, and thank you to my bud there, Dave C. Uh, he had one, uh, and I was able to test it before I bought it, and... You know, once I put it in my hand and, and, and wrote with it, the rest was history. And you can ask David on that. He was right there when it all happened. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's what I wanted to show you. Okay, this is the Sailor King of Pins. And here is the Sailor 1911 Large. Uh, Sailor King of Pins rocks, truly rocks. Uh, the other one I showed you was the wrong one, but anyway, look at this nib on that jewel. If I can focus it in for you, but it is to die for. Love this pen. Nice pen. Sailor makes some really nice pens. Hello, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. So, uh, yeah, that was my vintage Mont Blanc that I just showed you a minute ago. I kind of got them in the wrong order there. But, uh, and here's another pen that I do like, the Omos. This is only a cartridge use, but it sure writes really sweet. I didn't have any white pens. I needed one, and here it is. And just a really nice writer. Put this jewel up. Oh, right. Another ink I wanted to show you that I got in that I like was, uh, where did it go? Right. It's a diamine. It's uh, the jade uh, green ink right here. Yep. I really like the ink. It's not a dark, rich color. It's a, it's a nice, relaxing green ink. But it, it it's just a nice ink, and I really like that ink. Uh, I, I'm trying to stick to the ink that I'm going to be using on a regular basis. Try to. I'm still trying to work on keeping just pens I want to use on a ro on a regular basis and just rotate those. But when I do that, I'll neglect my other pens. So I mix them all together 
and I rotate all of them. But it takes me longer to rotate the ones I like more than the ones I like less, if that makes any sense. Uh, do you have a sample of that jade that you can show on a color ring or anything? Yeah. yeah. This is handy. And hello, Alex. Let me find it real quick. Right here. There it is. Okay. There you go. Yep. So it's a real nice shade of green. I'm, I'm feeling it. So. Uh, hello to Norm. And uh, George says maybe sometime you can do a comparison of the uh, 149 to the King of Pins. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I've done one already maybe last year. I'm um, not sure. But I, I sure will. I will do one because uh, I'm fixing to ink it up, the uh, King of Pens. So, yeah. Well, in fact, I'll do a comparison between the vintage 14K to the 18K and the King of Pens. But I'm going to tell you now that King of Pens is super awesome. Yes, it will hold its weight easily. I love the pen. So anybody out there yet that's come on that has ever used a century, I'm sorry, a platinum music nib, let me know. I am really interested. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So uh, I did like the Sailor music nib. A nice, smooth rider, nice and wet. It, was, it did the trick. But I, you know, I, I love the... The platinum, my platinum, so well that I'm check. I want to check out that music nib. If that music nib is anything like platinum I have now, it's a win-win for me. So, uh, anybody have any plans for any upcoming pin shows coming up? Let me know. Uh, I know Jim Hines is getting ready for some pin shows. He's been working uh, on his stock of pins that he's going to be carrying out there. And uh, I've been thinking about having Jim make me a pin. Uh, I wanted to get one the size of a King of Pins or a Mont Blanc, that body size. <laughs> JJ says he wants to try the Chicago show if his wallet lets him. Uh-oh. But I'm scared to go to them because, yeah. well, you know, last year I went, I, I really didn't buy nothing, did I? Not much, no. I, I, I don't know why. Well, I think I started feeling bad, I think, and we left early. Yeah, and we spent a while at the uh, getting your nib work, nibs worked on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had some nibs worked on, so that's one reason. But uh, if I don't get a music nib before then, I will check out the music nibs when I go to the... Dallas show. And Michelle says she turned the C nib into an SIG nib, so it rides close to a music nib with line variation. Oh, okay. What did that cost you, Michelle? <laughs> like she's in the same room and I'm waiting for her <laughs> to say something, and, you know, she's clear across the United States somewhere in America, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, anyway, I'm thinking of getting Jim to make one, but, uh, $50. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, uh, I know I'm going to have a girl nib put in it for sure. Uh, medium or fine. I'm not sure yet, but, uh, it will have a girl nib in it. Uh, the color, you know, I'm thinking, do I go black? Do I go matte color? Like, you know, this is a real nice matte blue right here. The copy of the Safari. This is that uh, one-piece uh, fountain pen stationery. Nice pen. It really is a nice pen. It, it reminds me just of the Lamy Safari. Exactly. But I do like the matte finish on it. Nice looking pen. Maybe get a color like this. Huh. Well... It's going to happen. 
Uh, but not right now, because right now Jim has ended up going on. He has orders that he's got to get out to customers that have ordered pins already. The place is getting ready for pin shows, so uh, Hines is uh, pretty well booked up right now. So, oh, uh, thank you to Janice uh, Farhan for the contribution to Patreon. Appreciate that. Um... You know, I was wondering if you need to say something. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Michelle says uh, she moved the C nib into the blue 3776. The red body has the medium nib. Uh, and the one that uh, she had made smoother and tuned. Okay. Uh, maybe you can do some writing or something and put it on Larry's fountain pens. I'd like to see it uh, in action. That would be kind of cool. Um, a note to the Fort Worth Pin Club uh, for whoever's on here. Dave C's on here, I know. Uh, Kara and Frank's on here, I think, still. Yes. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, uh, we're going to be... Uh, for birthdays in the Fort Worth Pin Club, uh, folks are going to bring samples of ink and uh, give those to whoever's birthday it is. Yep. And that's kind of cool. Uh, I was wondering, you know, I wanted to give some Jin Hao pins out to people in the Pin Club like I first did, but the reason why I haven't continued that, I'm not sure if everybody there would want a Jin Hao pin or not. I mean, they're a cool, fun pin. And, you know, you can, uh, if they're a 450, 159, 750, you can change out the nib to a number six. So that's what I like about them. What do you think about the Noodler's Conrad? Love the Noodler's Conrad. Love it, love it, love it. In fact, Noodler's Conrad. Right there. Look, great pens. Uh, for me, they work well. They really are some nice, awesome fountain pens. And believe it or not, Ahab's. Noodler's Ahab's. How I ended up with two blues, I have no earthly idea. I think somebody sent me a blue one. I think that's how it went. So, I like the pens myself. Uh, so, um, I think I need to get them inked up and go again. But what I need to do, I need to get uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight pins that are left. Finish using them, get them cleaned out, then bring me some new ones in. Is that to me? Or... Uh, no, the conversation going on. Okay. Uh, but uh, anyway... Uh, I'm thinking of doing something for our Fort Worth Pin uh, Club meetings. Um, some kind of giveaway. But it's only in my head right now what I'm thinking of. Uh, I, I have a, an idea that's going to pop up. Uh, not today that I'll share with everybody later. I'm, I'm pretty sure I think I know what it probably going to be. So. Norm says he likes his Jin Hao 750 with a 1.1 stub from Goulet. Yeah. Uh, you know, the uh, the Goulet nibs, Heinz nibs, Anderson nibs, they're all the same. And I think Edison, Jovo nibs, they're all, yeah, with their logos on it. And I did a review on those nibs with the exception of Edison nibs. I don't have any Edison nibs, and I've been saying I'm going to get one, going to get one. I didn't. But I'm glad I have uh, those three, and I also put a Knox nib in there. Uh, they all write the same. Uh, so you can't go wrong with any of the three or any of the four. Knox put out a nice nib. I just threw that one in there because I had it, and I said, you know what, let's just throw it in there and do it. But uh, 
Uh, I like the, the black nibs on the goulet. They're, they're nice looking nibs. Uh, let's see. Michelle says, check out her Instagram from yesterday. You'll see a Ranga pin that would make your uh, 149 look dainty. Oh, really? Is that that big, long one? Here again, I, I'm thinking, Michelle, you're right here in front of me. And like I said, okay. Is that that big, long one? Uh, is it? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. But those things are highly expensive. Is it like this big old wing song? Because here's the Mont Blanc. It'd be like the same size almost. Look how long that is to the Mont Blanc. This is 149. Larger than that. Yeah. Yeah. So is it larger than the Wing Song? This is pretty big and huge. Look how big and huge this thing is. That's a huge Wing Song. Uh, larger than that. Whoa. I've seen it, but you know, I, I know what you're talking about. Let's see, Andrew said, asks, uh, besides the pin club, are there places in the DFW area to try riding with different nibs? Say it again. Uh, is there any place to ride with different, to check out different nibs somewhere in DFW? Ah, uh, I don't know if some of the pin stores in the Dallas area do that. There's uh, some Mont Blanc stores, and I forgot where they're at. But I don't know if they'll let you test ride them or not. Uh, but I don't know of any other pin shops that will that are in the area. The only ones I know of, if you go to the to the pin shows, uh, that's the only ones that I'm aware of that you can test out the nibs. Let's see. Hello to Luke, and um, Alex asks, uh, why why is a flex nib in a Conrad? Why can it write badly with large omissions and long undersigns? Okay, anybody have uh, input on that one? On the Conrad. I'd like to hear some input on that one. But this is a bad pen. I mean, it didn't write worth a dang. I got two of them. The first one was a, a flop. The second was the second one was as well. But I like the size of it. It's a monster pen. But the one that, was that Michelle, that, the Wrangle pen, was that the one Michelle mentioned? Yes. Yeah, I, you know, God, I love to test that pen. Maybe at the pen show, if they have one out there, I'd love to get my hands on it and see, see how it feels and see how it writes. Has anybody found their perfect pen yet? Has anybody found their perfect nib yet? Has anyone found the perfect color of a pen yet? I love to hear that. People out there in Pinland that are on, would you prefer a preppy over a Jin Hao? If so, why? I'm curious about that. This is the preppy. Nice little pen. All right, as we move on. Uh, I wanted to show some paper, a piece of paper. Let me find this piece of paper. And I believe this is from Life. Uh, one of my pink buddies sent it to me. And uh, you can hear it. It's not Tomo River paper. It's from Life paper. Uh, but uh, if anybody has life paper it's kind of like Tomo River paper uh, JJ says that's uh, probably called airmail paper yeah that's it JJ you're right you win the prize what do you win uh, a hug JJ got a hug there how's that big deal he says okay so yeah that's what it is airmail paper yes right and I need to write that down because I need to check out the airmail papers life. Uh, Michelle, yeah, it looks real similar to onion skin. Yep. That's right. Yeah, airmail paper, that is right. Yeah. So, uh, Austin, what, that went off, what was it?
Time for a drink. So, okay, uh, what else was I going to mention today? Um, and wouldn't you know it, I do not have it. Mm. If anybody has a bottle of, an empty bottle rather, of uh, Robert Oyster uh, Fire and Ice, well, I just need a bottle of Robert Oyster. If anybody has an empty bottle later one, can I have it? I just need one bottle. I've been trying to bum one off somebody, but nobody has yet come through yet, I'm saying. But hopefully, it'll happen. Um, the next Fort Worth Pin Club show, it's going to be two months. So this is April to May. It'll be June, right? The second yes. Monday of June. Yeah, Michelle, he wants an empty ink bottle for some reason. Yeah, so I can put my ink in there. It's in a different bottle right now. A friend of mine sent me the Robert Oyster ink, but he wanted to keep the bottle. So I took the ink. Now I'm trying to to, uh, to bake for a bottle. David C., do you have any bottles? Because David C. has a lot of ink, so... Uh, Norm says his, that uh, Gene Hale pens write better than some of his more expensive pens. You know, I have to agree with you. Okay. It's not his cup of tea then, right? No. Okay. I like a lot of the, well, a lot. Although the inks I have bottles of, I like. Uh, well, let's see. I never heard what it went off. Uh, he just says he has a vintage bottle that's empty. Oh, okay. Send me a picture of it. Uh, some of the bottles I do like are the, uh, what is that one? Uh, oh, they're like skinny, tall, and going to get fat. Uh, Ackerman? Ackerman? Ackerman. Ackerman, yeah, Ackerman. I'm going to have to take a language class on uh, pronunciation of different foreign names and other names. Eh, never mind. I won't do it. So, anyhow. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yep, you got it. That's it, JJ. Yep. I do like your bottles. I think your bottles are cool. But anyway, I'm trying to just stick to the inks I like to use. I'm trying. But it's really hard. I like inks. Okay. Did you read that one? Um, Michelle gave away a bunch of ink samples yesterday, so she should be close to finishing her empty ink bottle challenge, but she has the flask-shaped bottle ready to refill the smaller one. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I was going to show... Yeah, we, have, we haven't seen the empty ink bottle challenge, so I don't know what that was about yet. Yeah, never heard of it either. Uh, I wanted to show... Is it Michelle? Are you the one that's into purple? Was it Michelle, the gin house, that was into purple? I'm not sure if it was Michelle or somebody else that was into gin house purple pens. Yes, Michelle is purple. Okay. Uh, well, where did I put it? I do. I wanted to show you some that I got in. Uh, and wouldn't you know it, well, anyway, I, I have a couple of purple pens that came in from uh, that are Jen Howe's, and I wanted to show you, I believe it was a 750 and a 450, I'm thinking that's what it was, and if I can get it. Uh, 
You'll have to excuse him. He's got pins all over this room. Yeah. Little pins here and there. Oh, real quick, that uh, on some of my uh, Conklin uh, pins, uh, I'm thinking about uh, putting some different nibs in there. I haven't used those pins in quite a while because I even forget I have them. Mm-hmm. And you know, I do not know where I put those pins at. Huh. But they're around here somewhere. Uh, I'll just have to keep hunting for them. But anyway, Michelle, I, I was thinking about you when I saw these pins. Beautiful purple. There's a beautiful purple Jim Hal 450 and a 750 that I ordered and I've had them. And uh, I just don't remember where I put the stupid things at. But I'll find them later. I do have them around in here somewhere. So, you know, I, I need to actually count my pins. But I, I, I think I'm close to 200, maybe, give or take. Maybe. Hmm. All right. Well, again, on the T-shirts, you can go to, or the caps, and they're Trucker-style caps. Uh, you can go to Zazzle's website. Uh, and don't forget, to, they give you a coupon code to take 15% off, I think. You want to put that in the promo code. That helps. What do you think? Uh, conversation. Okay. Um, well, I think I'm, that's about it. I think I covered. Oh, one last thing. What is the difference between the Platinum President 3776 and the, the regular Platinum 376 Century? That was a question I'm throwing out. Because uh, on that President Platinum, is like 279. And the other platinum, I've seen them for 179. So I was just wondering if anybody has any idea for the president platinum and just the regular century platinum. Both gold nibs. Platinum president is bigger. Oh, is it? Okay. Do you have one by chance, Dave? Uh, that was George. George, do you have one? Okay, the president uses a different size nib. George, okay. Yes. Okay. The 3776 nib is the NACA nibs based. It went away. Uh, do you know what a NACA nib is? No. Okay. Um, what do you think about the Jinhao 159? I love it. I love Jinhao 159. That's what got me into the, uh, and I've got several of them. That's what got me into the Mont Blanc 149 and then to the King of Pins. Uh, I, I, I must have, I don't know, six, seven of these. Mostly in black now. My blue ones are gone. I've got a couple of orange ones. And uh, I think the rest would be black. But uh, I like them myself. And they do write good right out of the box. And I, I like them because I can change out the nibs. So that's a lot of fun for me anyway. Um... Uh, And another great nib is on the Pelican, the uh, Pelican 800, uh, the M800, and the Pelican 1000, M1000. I do like those nibs a lot as well. JJ wants the uh, 3776 in Ebonite. Oh, okay. Of course, that would be a few extra more bucks. But it's only money, right? Right. Um... 
So what we got planned here, uh, we're working on that new baseball cap with the logo on it. And uh, we're going to be testing out the, uh, uh, what do I want to call that test out when streaming with another person? Uh yeah, Google Hangouts. Yeah, we're going to be trying the Google Hangouts. So maybe, David, see if you're going to be home, we may try, try that out. And Frank and Carl, uh, just give it a quick test run if we can get it going to see what it's like. Uh, so we got that going on. Well, then we got to go to Walmart and you got to get a new what? Wireless adapter for my computer. Yeah, because right now we can't do much without that, what I needed to do. So... That's what we have planned to do today. So, all right, folks. Well, that's going to wrap this session up today. I think I've talked about take care, peace, love. See you soon. Bye, folks.